Assalamu alaikum everyone. Good morning. Uh, this is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. And we are so happy and so excited to be with you this morning. And today uh, we have a big surprise for you. Uh, our speaker today is the one and only Imam Pliman El Amin. Uh, Imam Pliman is well known across Atlanta, the world, and uh, I think the universe. And in my own books, he is Atlanta's Imam. So having him with us this morning is a true blessing for us. Um, Imam Pliman, it's all yours. And again, thank you, sir, for making time for us today. All right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, ashadu Muhammadan abdul rasuluhu, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. With the name of Allah, merciful benefactor, merciful redeem, all praise and thanks belongs to Allah, the Lord and cherisher, God and evolver of all worlds. I bear witness that nothing deserves worship except Allah and Allah alone. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger and his slave servant. Assalamu alaikum wa yahan nabiya wa rahmatullahi wa katuhu. Assalamu alayna wa la ibadi lahi salahini. La ilaha illallah wa dahu la sharika lahu. Lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-ham. Wa huwa ala kulli shayin kadir. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashadu muhammadan abdu rasuluhu. Nasta'inuhu wa nasta'firuhu. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. We seek Allah's peace and his blessings upon the Prophet and may Allah's peace be upon all of us and all the righteous. There is nothing, no deity deserving worship except Almighty God alone. To him belongs the sovereignty, to him belongs the praise, and he has power over all things. And I bear witness that nothing deserves worship except Allah. And I bear witness to Muhammad as his messenger and his slave servant. We seek his aid, we seek Allah's aid, we seek his forgiveness. O oh Allah, we beg for your guidance, we plead for your mercy, we pray for your forgiveness. You have no equal, you have no rival, you have no opponent, you have no associate. You are the first, the last, the only. Upon you, everything and everyone depends, and we come to you willingly or unwillingly as servants. O oh Allah, strengthen our conviction, deepen our faith, expand our understanding, broaden our work, fulfill our lives, and protect us from fear, weakness, and disbelief. Uh, mean. I want to reflect on two things today. One is a great blessing, and one is a, a fitna or a trial. The blessing, of course, is Ramadan, is the month of fasting is upon us. Uh, this blessed month will begin, inshallah, tonight for, for many and maybe tomorrow for some. Uh, fasting from food and drink uh, during, from dawn, which dawn comes early around 5.30 until sunset, which is around 8.15 for 29 or 30 days. Allah says in the Quran, A'udhu billahi min shaitan ni rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Oh, you believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you that you may learn taqwa or God consciousness. This is the essence Surely Allah speaks the truth. This is the essence of the fast, to learn to be more conscious of God, to learn to be more regardful of God. This is the essence of Ramadan, to increase and deepen our awareness of Allah, the creator, the sustainer, the judge of all the worlds and, and the universe, and the judge of each and every one of us. These verses continue in Quran, these fasting verses, and it reminds us, every one of you who is present during this month should spend it in fasting. And this is the segue into the trial or the fitna. Uh, we said a blessing and a fitna. This is the segue into that when we think of the coronavirus. We are all homebound, sheltering, 
at home, maintaining social distancing to protect ourselves, to protect our families, to protect our friends and our community, to protect our society. Uh, we want to protect it from further spread uh, of this pandemic. It is certainly a trial and it will be a challenge for each of us during this time of Ramadan. Because Ramadan is really, it has a strong social aspect to it. The communal prayers, the communal, communal meals, uh, the, the congregational nighttime ta'awiyah prayers, the sitting together and reciting Quran, sitting together and discussing uh, the deep meanings uh, of the faith, uh, thicker, remembering Allah in circles and groups, uh, most of which will be scaled down this year because of the virus, and some of it will not even happen. But the fast will remain intact because the fast is between you and Allah between me and Almighty God, between every individual and the Lord and cherish of all the worlds. Almighty God is really the only one who truly knows, other than ourselves, whether we are fasting or not, and he truly knows why we have chosen to fast. Uh, God inspired our prophet, prayers and peace be upon him, to relate words that he said from an ayat Qudsi. God says, fasting is mine, and it is I who will reward the believer for it. For the keeper of the fast abstains from food and drink for my pleasure, God says. And Allah reveals in the Quran, when my servants as concerning me, tell them I am Karib, I am near. I listen to the prayer of every suppliant when they call on me. So let them listen to my call and believe in me that they may be guided on the right path. Let me offer two verses from Quran that relate to this trial of the Corona virus uh, that is upon us. First, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, highly glorified as he says in uh, Surah Anfal, the eighth Surah, 25th verse, be regardful of Allah and be regardful of the trial which affects more than those who do wrong. Be regardful of fitna are trials that affect more than those who do wrong. A lot of times we think we can understand why difficulties come to bad people. But God says, be regardful of fitna or trials that come and affect more than just bad people. And secondly, in Quran, it says, no, this is in the uh, Surah Tagabun, the 64th Surah of Quran, 11th verse, no kind of calamity can occur except by the permission of Allah. And if anyone believes in Allah, Allah guides his or her heart aright, for Allah knows all things. Dear believers, dear Muslims, dear people, let us trust God, let us trust Allah, and utilize this time of social distancing in the midst of Ramadan to strengthen and deepen our consciousness and our regardfulness of Allah and to cultivate a deeper awareness of our own selves and souls. Let us utilize uh, this opportunity of the month of Ramadan to live above and beyond the trials, the tests, and the difficulties of the immediate day-to-day -day circumstances. The great El Ghazali uh, cautioned us, he said, he or she who gets up at dawn, and we'll be getting up at dawn an hour and 20 minutes before the sunrise during the month of Ramadan to eat our suhoor, uh, a, a small meal. Ghazali said, 
he or she who gets up at dawn with the world as the object of their thoughts is not God-fearing or God-conscious. And that person will develop four attributes. One, anxiety that has no end. Two, engagement that has no limit. Three, that overshadows wealth and four hopes that cannot be fulfilled. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highly glorified as he says in Quran, with every difficulty comes relief. Surely with every difficulty comes relief. And our prophet prayers and peace be upon him said Ramadan is a month that is beginning is mercy its middle part is forgiveness, and its last part is freedom from the fires of hell. He said, when the month of Ramadan arrives, the gates of paradise are flung open, while the gates of hell are chained closed. And a caller cries out, oh, you who seek good, come forward, and you who desire wrong, get back. Dear believers, may each of us be of those who come forward. And I close offering this dua. O oh Allah, guide us among those whom you have guided aright. Preserve us among those whom you have preserved. Take us for friends among those who you have befriended. O oh Allah, lead us from fear to trust, from despair to hope, from falsehood to truth, from ignorance to enlightenment. Deepen our taqwa, strengthen our iman, expand our ibadah, broaden our involvement, soften our hearts, engage our minds, and fulfill our souls. O oh Allah, to you belong the sovereignty, to you belong the praise, and remind us always that you have power over all things. Amin. And on behalf of the Islamic Speakers Bureau, Ramadan Mubarak. Ma'am Pleman, thank you so much. I feel like I'm spiritually charged right now to start my fasting, inshallah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for your magnificent du'as, the reminders about Ramadan, the reminders about the, the blessings and the trials we're in and how we need to take advantage of them. Thank you to all our viewers. Uh, we wish all who are celebrating Ramadan a very blessed month, inshallah. And for all our friends, uh, we look forward to interacting with you during the month. If you uh, all like the work of the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta, we invite you to support us. Our website is isbatlanta.org. And we look forward to seeing you uh, during Ramadan for our spiritual um, boost during the month of Ramadan. Uh, thank you again, and assalamu alaikum.